for part three of our Dwarf Fortress tutorial, I keep getting a uh, similar question, so I think we should cover that. And those questions all revolve around water and, and creating mud for farms and getting farms inside, uh, but mostly around water and wells and cisterns and rivers and fresh water and all that. So we're going to deal with all of that today. So um, the water topic, what do we do if we're in a fortress like this one that doesn't have any water outside? The only patch of water that we have in this whole fortress is down here. Uh, we've got a, uh, a puddle of stagnant water. Stagnant water's not going to do us any good. Dwarves can't drink that. So we got to go find some water. And there's really only one source of water in a build like this, in a, in a fort like this, and that's to go down into the caves. And there's usually water in the caves. And so in order to do that, we got to dig a hole, find the caves, and and get a well built to go and grab that water. Of course, we can just walk down there and drink it, but it's a long walk. Better to bring the water to us. So we're going to build a well today. We're going to, uh, I'm going to pull up a different fort that has a river on it. And so we can see what it's like to maybe get some water brought inside the forts in case it freezes. Uh, we'll see about making some farmland inside on rock because you can't build farms on rocks. And... Um, Talk about a couple other things like bridges and things as well. So let's go and build ourselves a well. But first, we got to find the caves. Now this is kind of a dangerous thing because spooky things live uh, down in the in the depths, and so it's probably best when you start going down to go and kind of do a bit of a, an offshoot cavern, something that you can build a door or or some sort of blockade to in case something scary comes up. Trolls and frogs and who knows what else is down there. So let's go out from this way, and then we're going to click a staircase, and we're just going to go straight down. You may notice a lot of folks um, will do, like, two-by-two two caverns. It's just sort of a habit from the old Dwarf Fortress days because pathfinding's always been an issue and frame rate drops because of it. And so uh, a lot of us will build bigger stairs. But I'll just, I'll just do a single one for right now just to dig down into the caves. So uh, who we got there? We got uh, Mebzith, who does all the work in this, ca in this fortress, is digging straight down. And as soon as we find that cavern, we're going to hopefully find some water. And what we're going to do with that water is we're going to make ourselves a well. And so in order to make a well, we need a bucket and we need a rope or a chain. Ropes and chains are the same thing. Um, in your default build, you should... Oh, look, we found it already. You should already have those two things. If you don't, you can get a bucket from wood and a rope you can make at a clothier shop. He just takes some cloth and whips up a rope real quick. Or from the metal shop, make a chain. So we found ourselves a cavern. Let's go see what this cavern is all about. And there we go. There's our cavern. Okay. So in this cavern, a couple of our, our problems are solved as well. We've got, if we run out of wood, there's wood down here. This is all mud that we can grow on, farms and things, if you don't have any mud to, uh, to grow on in your, in your fortress. And there's lots and lots of water down here. Uh, and all the way down. This is all water down this way, and all good fresh water. Um, there is typically some scary things down here. We'll see if there's anyone down here. Uh, nothing's shown up yet, but we may see some things like trolls and whatever else coming around. So it's it's a good idea to have some sort of a military built up first. I think I'm going to save anything military and defenses. I think I'm going to have to do another video to cover that because it's going to be a pretty big topic. So that'll be part four, I think. Um, but we've got at least a, a starter military that can fight off some basic things. Um but anyway, we've got ourselves a cavern. So we, we broke through right here. There's our staircase, and it goes through, and it just sort of hits the opening right there. Um, if we want to go build over here, probably better to go and access this from a safer spot. So we can go down and, and walk out at one tile. Easier to defend as well. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to erase these other ones because I dug, out, I dug down a ways that we didn't need to go. This cavern's pretty close, actually. So we'll erase all those stairways. And I'm just going to go uh, starting from here. And we'll build over... And let's go, like, out over here. So we want to go to, like, right there. And then let's go down, and we'll get out, like, there. And then we'll build a um, stair I, oh, I did the wrong one. staircase there and then up to there. So we'll come up. We'll, we'll walk over uh, and up that way and then down the stairs, and we can get out there. So we'll have access to the mud. We can farm down here if we want. Uh, when we get our clothing shop, they'll come down. They'll grab... Um, our loom, I'm sorry. Our loom will come down and grab spider webs so we can make silk things now. There's lots of good stuff in the caverns. Caverns are great. Dangerous, but great. And uh, and we continue moving down and we can get some easy water source here. So in order to get our well, we want to make sure we've got a straight hole straight to the water. So like, and it doesn't matter where it's at, but this spot right here is fine. Let's take this square right here. I'm going to put my cursor on that square and go straight up. And as long as there's a clear path... We can go all the way up into our fortress. 
and it's going to go right over here. It's actually a little ways away. We seem to find, find a closer one. Let's see if we can find one down this way. So yeah, here's some over here. So let's grab like this spot right here. We could of course dig out this water and make a spot easier to get easier access, but for the sake of making this a, you know, simple tutorial, we're going to keep it simple. So let's go grab, how about this corner right here? Let's go straight up. It's going to go right. Mm, here's probably fine. So let's dig out over to there. We'll dig it. We'll dig a. We'll dig like a tunnel out over here, and we'll just put a, a well in here somewhere. So we go all in down. We're gonna take. Uh, there's an easy way of doing this, and that is just to build a staircase next to it, and then we're gonna we're gonna channel. We'll build a staircase all the way down, and then right next to that stair, as they're building the stairs down, they're gonna channel it down. Basically, just make a hole. We do that here by hitting the dig a channel uh, button, which we're we'll using later on today also. So let's go get a stair starting here, and we're gonna go straight down and hopefully yeah there we go right there so there we go so we got a, ch uh, a ch stairway going all the way down and next to that we're going to put a hole so a hole all the way down and this is going to make just a giant hole in our fortress that we will put a well on top of a well is, is again it's a construction with rope or chain and a bucket and then we will have a water source for our dwarves inside the fortress we will have water safe water spots basically so, once they, since they're getting that built, I'm going to show a second way of getting water into your fortress. And I'm going to pop over here to a different fortress that I have just set up here, which has a river on it. So, if you begin with an embark and you've got a river set in your fortress, well, then we'll, another easy way of doing this, well, if we don't want to go to the cavern, say we want to play it, we're not ready for caverns yet, or we want to play it safe, or we want to get, I don't know, something safer. So, what we can do is we can, we can tap into this river here and dig a channel and have a, a nice puddle of water underneath our fortress. As long as we have a, a spot of water that's deep enough, and that's seven tiles deep, uh, we'll put a couple Z levels worth of water. We can put a well wherever we want. So I like a well underneath my underneath my inn right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go channel, or we're going to dig a stairway down, and let's put it down like, uh, we'll put it here. And we'll go down a couple levels here, and we're going to make this area here my, um, my cistern. It doesn't need to be giant. It might be a little too big, actually. Um, well, too big for the sake of getting this done reasonably quick. So we're going to go and, and dig that out. And in order to get water there, we got to get it from the river. So we're going to channel a river, a channel water out from here and dig it around. And now I want to also mention that this is not, like, there is no, like, guide to Dwarf Fortress. There's no right or wrong way to do this. This is how I do it. Uh, if you watch someone else, you can use pumps and you can use all kinds of mechanisms. If you're more of a factorial kind of person, that may be your style. That's not my style. So uh, I'm going to show you my way of doing this. So we've dug all this. We're, once we dig this thing out, we're going to channel it down and just build a, a big um, uh, um, cistern is, is the word. So let's go down one more level. We'll do a double level thing here. We're going to channel this out. All the stuff we just did, we're going to channel it out again, and I'm going to go down. So basically, when you channel out, you're just digging out. You're digging down to the next Z level. So this is a 2Z level deep hole in the ground. We can even go deeper if we want for a, a little more water, which probably would be a good idea in the long term. But for now, it's fine. And then we're going to go dig at this level. We're going to actually do it at this level. We're going to dig this way. Now, be careful because it's very easy to... Uh, oh, humans have arrived. It's very easy to flood your fortress. Um, I'm sure you'll hear many stories of folks that attempted this and flooded their fortress. Um, in fact, it's it's very easy to do. So <laughs> I'll try to not do it here uh, now. Um, we're going to dig over, and then we want to go up. Uh, let's go over a little bit further. And we're going to go uh, straight up to right about there. So let's go dig a stairway at the end, and we're going to come up to right... Uh, we'll just... Um, Actually, I don't want to come all the way out, so I don't, that's putting a hole in my fortress. So we'll do just like that right there. That'll work. So we got the staircase. Water can flow down the stairs just fine. Okay, so there's a nice puddle there. Let's go see if these humans have anything. Is it um, is it this fortress? I'm confused about my, which, which fortress is which. I think it's this one. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a trade depot with this one. Well, let me get you a trade depot real quick. There we go. Okay, so that's been dug out. Now, 
Now I could cut into this this river. We could channel up. Um, we could just channel over, and the water will start flowing in. Problem is, the water will flood everything if we do that. It'll start bubbling up and come through the whole fortress. We don't want that. We want a bridge. So we're gonna put a bridge in here that we can lay, raise and lower that will stop the water. So we can have the bridge up. It'll stop the water. We lower it down, and it'll let all the water flow in. That's our safe way of keeping ourselves from flooding the fortress. So in order to build a bridge, it's a construction. So we come down here. I'm gonna put it in the channel here, and so we're gonna build a construction and it's a bridge right there so bridges have different ways of raising and lowering we want them to raise this one for instance we want to raise this way so it's gonna it's laying down this flat, flat way and it's gonna raise up and block the the water from coming any further i would like to pick my material and we're gonna place it right sure right there and i want to make this thing out of how about an obsidian bridge sure so let's go down there and make that bridge. Now it's not going to work until we put some attached mechanisms to it and get a lever attached to it to pull. If we pull that lever, it'll pop the bridge up and block it. Bridges are great also for putting in places like this. It's better than a door. It will stop people from, uh, it'll stop some creatures from bashing down your doors. Bridges are more difficult to get through. So we can make a bridge that raises this way and put out something like that. And we'll make this one out of maple logs, right that. I'm going to show you how to do the levers here in machines and fluids. All we need for this is we need a mechanics bench and it's in some and some rock mechanisms, which we make at our over here. This guy uh, mechanics workshop rock mechanisms. That's all we need for this. Uh, but we're going to make a lever. We'll put it in here, I guess. This one we'll put for this bridge lever. There's the mechanism we need. Just one for that. So we'll need more to attach to the bridge. And we'll put one in here for the well. We'll stick one in. Uh, over here as well. Like that. There we go. Now, um, that uh, that bridge is done, so we want to hook that thing up to a lever. We're going to come over here, and we're going to go to our lever that we want to use, which is this one here. Click on it, we're going to link a lever. So we're going to link it to, go down to it, click on the bridge. That bridge right there. So that's going to go get linked up. They're going to take some mechanisms, hook the thing up, uh, and so when you pull the lever, it will raise the bridge. And when it's done, it will tell you it's done. You can tell them to do it. Do it now! And they'll do it now. And there he goes. Doing that. And as soon as we're done with this, we'll go back to the well and check that out. Okay, so it has been, it has been linked. I think. No, almost there. He's building the trigger. As soon as he's done... That'll be ready to go. There he goes. He's hooking the, me the mechanism up. Now it's ready. So we can see that it works. We can go we can go pull the lever, and we'll see that when he, we tell him to pull the lever, someone's got to walk over there and pull it. But then this bridge will raise up, just like that. Pull it again, put it back down. This is a great defense thing as well, uh, and we'll be covered in the defense part of the tutorial <laughs> as well. Uh, so now, I think we're, we're safe now. Uh, the bridge is ready. We can, we can do this. So let's go ahead and channel out our channel. Remember, when you channel out, it goes one level down. So we're going to do something like that. Um, wrong button. Channel that. And they'll channel their way to there. The river will start flowing. And we're going to keep an eye on this. It's very important we watch this thing. He ran off for some reason. Here he comes. Okay, and there goes the water. It's going to go flooding down into the into the, the channel, and here it comes flying. It's going to push some rocks along with it, and it's going to go fill up my basin here, my cistern. Now, the main reason you want to do this is because if you're in a colder place, then you're going to have some problems with... Ooh, that's going faster. Faster than I was expecting it would go. Uh, you're going to have problems with the rivers freezing. Wintertime's going to hit, and you're going to have a real problem with no water because, well, it's frozen. If it's underground like this, it won't freeze. This is filling up very quickly. Um, that first level is already down to... We want at least one level of seven depth. And the second one's coming in. So we're going to go ahead and get that lever pulled before it fills up anymore. Remember, we have to um, take time for our dwarves to do this. If we want to do it immediately, we can click that. Click do it immediately button. And someone will run over here and do it. And it's filling up. Bridge should raise in a second. There it goes. Water stops. And there we go. We have ourselves a cistern. It's not flowing up the base. We've got a hole. So... Just like, hey, a baby. Just like at the other fortress, we're going to do here in a second. We're going to dig a channel just right here. Uh, we'll put our well in, yeah, right there. Another baby. We're going to go down this way and dig a hole and stick a well on it. Okay. 
three babies? There we go. So we got a hole, a hole straight down in the water, just like what we're doing at this fortress, which I seem to have forgotten to pause, which is a bit of a problem. <laughs> We've got a hole, and you can see, goes straight down into the water. And so all I have to do is build a well. And so in order to build a well, we come to constructions, and we go to constructions, I think. Uh, I actually forget where wells are. Um, machines. Well, there it is. Well. You need a, uh, a mechanism, a block, a chain, and a bucket. Throw it right there, and I need a block. So let's go make a block. Uh, where's my guy? There he is. We're going to add in some rock blocks. Do those now, and he'll go make some of those things. And we'll get those done. We've got uh, we've got some. Looks like, maybe, uh, yeah, some elves are here, trying to trade with us. Um, elves. One thing the elves are have that if if you do want to trade with the elves, one thing they do have is a lot of animals. So that's nothing nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Every time, when as soon as you break into the caverns, you're gonna start seeing this floor fungus popping in. So anywhere that has dirt has a dirt floor will start getting fungus, and your animals can actually graze on that. So once you hit the caverns. You, and you have dirt floors, you can make an indoor animal spot. I'll show you another fortress here at the end here, and I'll show where that uh, can be used on a fortress that I have set up that has an indoor animal area. Can make those blocks yet? Um, they're working on them. There you go. That you? There you go. Get those blocks. We'll get that well done. And uh, right there. Need blocks. Okay, well... As soon as old Sodal's here done with that block, we'll get it done. And we actually may have some... Oh, there she goes. So, well... There. Here we go. Block, bucket, rope, mechanism. Okay, so we now have a well, and that will be our water source. And uh, the dog is vomiting all over the place. Alright. Uh, as also mentioned, there's a cave crocodile down there. In the... In the uh, way down there. So, again, it's dangerous down there in those caverns. I wouldn't recommend jumping down there until you are ready to deal with things like cave crocodiles and giant olms, for instance. Uh, there's a crocodile. It's in my fortress as we speak because I didn't block it off in any way. And so, yeah, a bit of an issue. We do have a military. We can go get our military, assign both these folks, and tell them to go kill that crocodile. Please. And we hit space bar. The dog's chewing on him right now. Here they come. Punch, punch. Uh, they're not really set up. Oh, yeah, they're shooting some things. There's some, some arrows flying. Ah, we got them. Good. There we go. One dead cave crocodile. Excellent. And no one died in the process. So, victory. Um, so, there we go. We got a... This well is almost built. I think she's hauling things over for it. And we're going to do the same thing at the other fortress here. It, it, we're going we're gonna to haul that around and make a well here in that same spot. And we can do that right here like that. Build a well. And same thing. It's going to be a spot right there for us to get water. And we'll have an indoor safe. We can lock the front doors. We'll be safe. There's no worry about anything getting into us. No problems. I'm going to link this lever up to this guy. And it's going to create a, uh, a much safer defense to our fortress. I don't have a ceiling, a roof on this place yet. But when we get a roof, it'll be a much safer way of, of securing our fortress by having that there. Now, let's say you want to make a place for a pasture. And you want to pasture indoors. So I'm going to show you that in a second. There you go. The well's there. So this is now... The well is operational. Excellent. We've got a water source in our fortress. This is things that's used at, like, doctor's offices. They do need water. Um, so it's a good idea to have a good water source inside. Even though your, your dwarves don't need to drink it, it's a good idea to have some water around in case you have some sort of crisis of seeds or whatever. Um, that's it. That's that's the the well part of the game, and they both have wells there now, and this one's down in the caverns, the other one's over there. Now, I didn't really cover this in the first one, which I probably should have, and that is up here, the dwarves will go and, and fish kind of wherever they want, but let's say we have a spot where we want them to specifically fish or get water from. We can go set up a zone and put in a fishing zone. So we'll say, uh, fisher dwarf, I want you to fish right there, and that's it. Just go fish over there, so they'll stay over there. We can also get a water source over here. So if you say, for instance, have a spot you want them to get water, you can put it over here. Um, I don't think the well actually needs it. No, the, the well they will do on their own. We can actually put it down here, though, if we wanted to like put it on the stairs, and they can go get water that way if they wanted to. But you can do it outside and set up a water source. Or like in the caves, if you don't want people going outside, 
You need a water source. You have to have a spot of land so that they can stand and get water. But there you go. There's your water source for your fortress. Let's pull that lever so we can see that bridge go up. And be careful of anything on the bridge when you when you um, pull that lever because things will go flying like I think my cat just did there. I don't know if my cat went flying or not. Something it looked like it was close. But yeah, you can you can also smash it. When it goes down, it'll smash things underneath there. So be careful with your bridges. Um, okay. So that is two wells done. Now, let's say your fortress uh, doesn't have a good spot for farming. And your farms, it's all rock, but you can't grow farms on rock. So what I've done here is the same thing I just did to make that, that cistern under my... my in for a well. I've 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 uh, channeled down. I've got a water source coming in. I built a bridge to stop the water. I flooded a big open area of rock. And as soon as every spot hit at least one depth of water, I closed the bridge. And slowly over time, the water will evaporate. And when it evaporates, it leaves behind a small pile of mud. And the that, once you have that, you can grow. You can build farms on. This was all stone, and now I've got farms in this whole farm area here. Never mind the rocks. I gotta get them out of there. Uh, it also works if you want to make an indoor animal area, which is what this is here. This is this is my pasture over here. And this pasture is here, able to be here, because we've got these these under lichen and, uh, and cave wheat and, and sp tr spore trees. All this stuff is starting to sprout because I've hit the caverns underneath. Once you hit the caverns underneath, any place that's dirt or mud uh, will start to sprout lichen and food that the animals can eat. And farming is a big deal. Um, any, you know, leather and, and fat and eggs and just keeping a nice supply of animals, a nice breeding pair of animals is a really good idea. Uh, for instance, there's, I got a whole bunch of chickens in here. We'll talk about chickens actually here in a second and what you can do with them. Um, having uh, some yaks that keep producing so we can have a nice supply of leather, a constant supply of leather and meat. Uh, you can milk a lot of them. You can get... Uh, uh, thread and wool from from several uh, different kinds of animals as well. The ones, the obvious ones. Um, so animals is a very important part. The problem is when your animals are set outside. Anytime you get attacked, that's the first thing the invaders are going to go for. They're going to start killing your animals. So having something inside like that in your fortress that's safe is uh, probably the best idea. Um, for instance, uh, uh, I'm talking about chickens. So let's talk about chickens. This uh, both my embarks. I didn't start with really any thing other than this one's got a duck um it's a good idea if, if you plan your embark to bring like five turkeys or chickens or ducks five of the same kind like bring a boy and four girl whatever poultry and it's a really safe way of getting a food production um set also you'll get leather out of it when you slaughter them um you can get more chickens of course because you can fertilize them and i'll show you what to do with that we'll go ahead and dig it out right now even though we've only got one duck but we can dig this thing out and build. It doesn't have to be real big. The um, If it's too small to start fighting and all that. But you just need a small little area to stash your chickens. And we need some nest boxes for them to sit on. So we can go over to our craft um, shop. I don't have a craft shop here, do I? I need to build a craft shop in this place. So let's go build a crafter. And uh, get that in here. Uh, crafts. We'll just throw it right there for right now. So uh, in the craft shop, we will make some nest boxes and we can stash our chickens in there. So same way we're going to set up a zone. We set up the the um, the pin just like we did before, you know, outside. But this is going to be inside. And it's going to be, it's only going to take the ones that have the down arrow are already pastured somewhere. But you can just move them here. Uh, but we do want to bring in, bring in the duck, which is all we've got so far. But if we get a boy duck, you know, that'd be nice to have. Do I have traders here? No, they ran off, I think. But yeah, it's a good thing you get from your traders. If your traders have any any poultry... And that's a good thing to have for that purpose. Uh, we're going to add in a um, a nest box. If I know where nest boxes are from. I think they're from here. They might, oh, yeah. Wooden nest box. Or we're going to have a rock nest box. We'll do some rock ones. We don't need ten of them. We'll, do, we'll just do four of them for right, now, right now. And when they get made, we'll place those in here. They're like beds. For, well, obviously, they're like beds for our chickens. And when they start laying eggs, we can... Um, we can forbid those things. And you can forbid things using this tool over here. And so you can lock it to where they won't eat those eggs so you can get more chickens. So if you have a problem with not enough chickens, that's, that's one way of dealing with that. Uh, eventually, they'll go bring that. At least you should bring that duck in here. I'm not sure where he's at. The duck should get brought in here. And we'll have, we'll have a place for Mr. Duck. 
uh, if he ever gets brought in. There he goes. He's going to grab the duck. I was trying to figure out why he wasn't leaving. I didn't have the bridge down. So we go out, went out, got the duck, and he's going to bring him and stash him, stash him in here. Here comes Mr. Duck. There he is. Mr. Duck apparently has some worms and things in there. They don't, you don't need to feed them. They'll feed off little slugs and things that come uh, along the place. Is that a snail in there? It's like covered in critters. Uh, let's go put in my nest box if I've got it yet. Uh, I think it's in... I don't know where nest boxes are. Um, I think they're in constructions. I don't know where they are. Uh, nest box. Nest box. Not in there. I don't know where nest boxes are. There they are. In farming. Nest box. And you can see them placed over here. So we'll, th we'll throw them in. So our chickens have a place to lay their eggs. Or uh, whatever they are. Turkeys. Turkeys, I think, are the, are the, the better choice because they lay more eggs and they're a little bigger. Uh, but chickens do the job. And so uh, slowly but surely, that chicken should start laying eggs. Or that's a duck, isn't it? That duck should start laying eggs. Ideally, we would have a boy duck. And then we could have more uh, ducks and more eggs and have a nice food supply there for that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to cover. I think that, I think that, was, the, that was the basic stuff. Um, the real issue is is getting the water laid out for the farms. It's kind of a complicated process, and you're also it's very risky because you may very easily flood your fortress. If that lever ever gets pulled, you're going to have a bad time because all this water is going to keep on flowing. It's going to raise to the level of the river, which is my entire fortress. So keep that mark of something on that lever and don't let it get pulled again because you'll be in trouble if you do. Um, I think that covers all the... The, the urgent questions that I had from before. If you're ever down into the caves, you can do the same thing. And you can come down here. Another easy tool tip here. I, I don't think that the tutorial gives you... Where's my, where's my way in here? Is if you find a spot you want to go to, you can click this top button up here. And you can set... Uh, we'll say, I want this to be F5. Click right there. And this is now F5. We can say this was the... This is the caves. So every time we go wherever we need to go, hit F5. It takes you back. And you can see down here we got pigtails uh, and dimple cups. All the good stuff is in here. We can we can chop these trees however we uh, as as we please. These trees are mushrooms, but they work as wood. Uh, we can farm on this mud, and um, probably a good idea to station the military down there. I'm gonna put a whole. This would be a lot longer video if I went into military stuff right now. So I'm gonna go military next time, and we'll talk about setting up, well, stationing them and setting up orders and setting up. Um, equipment and their schedules and all that next time. But I think that covers food, water, and the basics. I don't want to get too advanced stuff because the game is very sandboxy, very open. Do what you want, you know? And um, I think that the advanced stuff is best, best served um, discovering on your own. Hey, look, Pozik wants to go eradicate monsters. This happens sometimes whenever you get into the caves. So, Tozik, go on in there. So, they're going to basically join my join my, my dwarves here. We've got a human here, a human pikeman, who's one of the guys, Pozik. And he, I can't really do much with him, but he's going to go run around. You can see there's the three. And they're going to go run around through the, um, mostly hang out in the tavern. But they're going to run into the caverns and start hacking and killing monsters. And they're great to have around because they will keep the place clean. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time when we talk about military, probably.